No one ever wants to be seriously injured in a personal injury accident. But today I'm going to talk about how long the limitation period, that period to sue following a personal injury is. So that God forbid something does happen to you or your family me member or loved one, at least you have the information to protect your interests. So let's get to it. You receive that call that no one ever wants to receive. It's from the police or the hospital telling you that your loved one has been seriously hurt in an accident and they're in a trauma center. You rush to the hospital and thus begins the waiting game. You talk to the doctors, you talk to the social workers, and you feel so helpless. Sometimes the social workers, the doctors, and even nurses will recommend that you consult a personal injury lawyer. And while you have to be careful if they're recommending one lawyer as opposed to recommending you interview a number, they are right and they have been through it and it is a good thing to do. There is a short period of time in Ontario to sue following a personal injury accident and that's what I want to talk to you about today. The limitation period, which is called a basic limitation period, is two years from the date of the accident. So if the accident would, be, would happen today, that means that the person has two years from today to file court papers to sue in Ontario for personal injury damages. Now there are different rules for children and young people under 18 so that the period is longer. And there's also different rules for people who don't have the physical, mental, or psychological capacity to make the decision to file a claim. And they're complicated. So the best thing to do is to call a lawyer right away. I get the fact that that sounds somewhat self-serving coming from a personal injury lawyer, but it's the truth. Let me tell you a quick story. A friend of mine, a colleague, a personal injury lawyer, told me something the other day where someone had learned about the two-year limitation period and showed up at their office on the two-year anniversary of their accident. What that person didn't know is that lawyers have to spend time requesting hospital records, requesting police records, and preparing the documents that they have to file in the court. So it's not a good idea to wait to the two-year mark. In fact, it's better to call sooner rather than later, and I'll give you three reasons why. The first reason is because there are, uh, with some defendants, some uh, entities that need to be sued, like municipalities and the government, very short notice periods, as short as 10 days following an accident that you're supposed to give them notice. And while they're not limitation periods, they can cause people problems in the future if they're not complied with. Second is, personal injury lawyers will almost always want to do their own investigation into a serious accident. While the police may have done an investigation themselves, they have different considerations when they're doing their investigation. And a good personal injury lawyer will want to retain his own investigator or her own investigator to document the scene with photographs, the vehicles involved, and what's really important is something called an event data recorder, which is a so-called black box. And it tells people uh, the speeds that vehicles were traveling immediately before the crash. And lawyers want to get that information right away. It goes away very shortly, witnesses disappear, and the scene can change. So it's all the more reason to call one soon after a personal injury. Finally is court delays. Not long ago, the Supreme Court of Canada decided a case which has had an impact on how long it takes to resolve a personal injury case. The case was involving a criminal uh, aspect of our justice system and what it resulted in was our government choosing to push more resources towards the criminal justice system and away from the civil justice system. 
it's not a judgment. This isn't a judgment I'm making on the system. It's just a fact. How that's playing out is that personal injury cases are taking longer to get to trial. So the longer that you delay in calling that personal injury lawyer, the longer it takes to resolve your case. The longer it takes to recover compensation for that lost income you've received, to pay your mortgage or pay for your kid's school. The longer it takes for you to recover compensation to pay for your own care. So that's it. Those are the tips in terms of limitation period. Call a lawyer soon. I know it sounds self-interested, but it's the truth. Thanks for watching. We're grateful for all of our social media followers. If you like this video, please click like in the bottom right hand corner of your screen and share it with your friends and family. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.